Hey guys and welcome to today's craft and how I made this hanging display candle holder. It's a special one today, it's my birthday so I'm spending the whole day crafting and this was the first thing that I made. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. If you're new here, I am Jo, I make crafting videos, I do four crafting videos a week plus one haul video or vlog video and yeah, if you're new, I hope you like and for everybody that's returning, thank you and it's great to see you again. So for today's craft, there was a mixture of things that I had on the table when I started. How What I planned didn't end up being what I made. Um, it was going to be completely different. But the first thing you'll need is a cross stitch hoop or embroidery hoop. You can pick these up pretty cheap in charity shops. You'll also need some foliage of your choice. I'm using some stuff that I got from the market for a pound a bunch. I was going to use some fairy lights, battery powered lights, but in the end I decided not to do them. I then also had the idea of actually covering the hoops with wool. I quickly changed that plan so you won't need any wool, but if you do decide that you want to do that, then you know pick whichever will you want i was planning on using the green but as i started doing it i decided i didn't want to add the wool you'll also need some cardboard and i'm using a little bit of pearl garland you'll need a craft knife a hot glue gun and a pair of tweezers and a pair of scissors a ruler some card and a pen so for the first part of the craft what i did was i glued the hoop together to form a ring and I just tightened the top and used some hot glue to stick them in place and then I used some sellotape to draw out two pieces of card I just used a pen and I'm just going to attach this to the middle of the hoop at the bottom this is just as a base to stick the flowers and the foliage on and when I first started doing this, I wasn't planning on putting a candle in the middle. But after I started sticking some of the leaves on, I decided that actually, yes, I was going to add a candle to it. So it evolved as I was making it. Um, yeah, so originally it was going to have fairy lights on it and no candle and it was going to have wool. And then we ended up with no wool, no fairy lights and a candle instead. So... First, I'm just going to attach from the center of the card some of the long foliage that I got. I wanted it to be like a fan effect around the bottom so that when you looked up at it, it was um, all fanned out. So I'm just going to attach some pieces of the long green foliage around the outside from the center, making sure that they're all the same length. And this is what it looked like once it was dry. And as I was doing this, I thought I'm actually going to add some more in between. But with these ones, I just attached the end of the leaf right at the edge of the cardboard. So that they were different lengths to the ones that we've already stuck down. Just to give a bit more of dimension to the flower display. So I'll be back once I've stuck all them in between. And here we are. So I decided then that I was going to add this candle. So what I did was with the other circular piece of card that I had, I was originally going to put it underneath and attach the flowers to it. But then I had this idea of putting the candle in the middle. So all I did was when the first piece of card that I caught was traced around the outside of the tape and then the second piece I just traced inside the tape so it was slightly smaller and so we can form a base for the candle and it per worked perfectly because it was the same size as the candle. So I'm just going to attach it about an inch above the piece of cardboard that we've already put in place. And I'm going to do this by adding an inch of card around the edge of the card that we've cut out. And it's just to form a little stand to pop the candle on place. And I'm just going to glue that in with some hot glue. And then the candle will sit on top of it like so. And we won't see the card because we're going to cover it up with leaves and some flowers. But yeah, I just used some hot glue to stick it into place. 
and then I also went round the edge and added more glue because you're not going to see it anyway just to make sure it was nice and secure. So for the next step I'm just going to add some leaves around the white card just to cover it up and I'll do this off camera. You've seen me do flowers quite a lot in my other video so I'm just going to explain what I did but yeah I just used some dark leaves and I'm just going to attach some flowers around the outside of the leaves now to finish it off. So they're dry now and I'm happy with where they're placed and how they look. And I'm now going to add some of, and I believe it's called Wisteria. Um, that's what the guy at the shop called it. I'm not 100% sure. I'm hoping it's right. But I'm going to add some of that to the bottom because I want it to have quite a long trail from the center of the hoops. So I'm just going to use a good amount of hot glue and stick it underneath. So that's nice and dry and it's all in place and I've decided I was going to use some of the pearl garland and just pop it around the outside of the card to hide it and it just finishes it off like so. I then decided I wanted to add some leaves to the top of the hoops and I had four pieces so I just stuck them down on each side and I'm going to attach some invisible thread to the top and the reason I'm doing this now is because I'm going to stick some blossoms around the top to hide the metal part and I want to make sure that I've put the invisible thread in first so that it just makes life easier than trying to tie it around the flowers. So I'm just going to glue them into place and just make sure that I keep the invisible thread out of the way so I don't glue them underneath the flowers. And they're nice and dry. And then I'm just going to finish off the bottom part. So I'm going to add a bit more of the white wisteria. Please hope it's right. <laughs> I really hope it's right. I'm just going to add a little bit more of that. And I'm going to add some of the leaves that I've got left over that I stuck on the top just to give it a bit more greenery. And then I've got four of these large white flowers and I'm just going to glue these into each section of the hoops. So there's four quarters and I'm going to put one in each quarter to hide the cardboard and just to finish off the bottom. And then once they're stuck on, that's it. I've done um, everything's finished I'm happy with how it looks I'm just going to attach it to the back of my door now just to take some pictures I'm not hanging it up yet because I've not got a, de a designated place for it to sit but yeah I'm going to um, show you what it looks like when it's hung up and I have hope you've enjoyed the video So I just want to say a massive thank you for everybody's support and for everybody that's, you know, decided to subscribe and join me on this crafting adventure as I work through my flat um, to get it to how I want. So there'll be lots more crafts coming. I've got loads of ideas. It's just finding the time to do them. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you leave a comment, I'll always reply. And yeah, it's just been absolutely amazing. I can't even describe how much I've enjoyed myself doing this. So I hope you like this. And um, I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's lit up. Um, but yeah, I think it's just something a little bit different and adds, you know, a little bit of colour to a corner of a room. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Take care and I'll leave you with some close-up pictures so you can see what it looks like. Bye for now.